Great, Alice. Oh, attack Barry Postouche. 5 3, on guard. By the way, can we just unplug the fax machine? Because this is a new. <laughs> Monday, I wake up at 8.20 a.m. Takes about 20 minutes to get dressed, and then I get out to the car, and I'm in the car ready to go by 8.40, give or take two minutes. Then I put on the Chris Moyles show on Radio X. Never listen to my music, always the Chris Moyles show. And it takes about 19 minutes to drive to my counselor, who I see every Monday, and I talk to her about my leg, my disability. I arrive at like 8.59, and I don't know if the wind is ruining this recording, but I arrive at 8.59 and have about one minute to chill in the car before I go in. And then I talk for about 50 minutes, 5-0, about my leg, etc. And when I'm finished, I take a massive breath and I head over to the coffee shop. And I'm usually at the coffee shop at around 10 exactly. Today was a bit different, there were roadworks, fuck my whole plan up. I then grab a soy flat white. A soy flat white, please. Always a soy flat white, and I always take it away. And then I get back to the house at about 10:15. But today's 10:30 because the road works. But you get the general idea. I want to talk today about that routine that I have every Monday, and I have had for the past four years, and why I love it, why I do it every Monday, why I'm so rigid about it. Now we're gonna make some eggs first though. Can I do it with one hand? Almost. <laughs> you take this, mom. <laughs> Gross. Anyway, to the most key part of scrambled eggs now, which is the folding. So when it gets to a point, you can like... This is not a tutorial. Let me just make my eggs and you guys can see some beautiful B-roll of when it's finished. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I'm trying to talk to the camera and you keep talking to me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Salmon. <laughs> Frying smoked salmon, very unconventional, but really pays off. Okay, I just wanted to talk briefly about why I had this, like, like it what would seem as if it was like a really regimented, strict regime that I do every Monday morning. Well, there are th three reasons that I want to break it down into. The first being, it's almost like a mental palate cleanser. For those of you that don't know what a palate cleanser is, it's like, if you're, when you're trying loads of different perfumes, if you smell coffee, it actually like resets your smell, so you can smell them, otherwise it just becomes, everything smells the same. And for me, like every Monday, going to the same coffee shop, doing the same thing, it like resets myself, it puts me back to a zero point. It gives me like a starting point for the week, so everything doesn't just merge into one thing. There's like a definite beginning and end to each week. And what I really like about that is that it means that my time doesn't merge into one big blob. You know, the negatives or positives or whatever it is from last week, they stop at Monday and I begin the new week. When you, like for example, if I had a really shitty week before, there's always the danger of like bringing that into your next week. Oh, I had such a bad week last week, I'm so like down about it. Reset Monday, none of that. Or if you had like a great week last week, you're like, yeah, I had an amazing week, I did this, I did that. I'm gonna take the week off because I'm feeling so good, I don't need to work. None of that. Reset the week, start again from zero. What can you achieve this? How can you make this week count? Reason number two. 
I think when you're like, you're doing something as unstructured as I am, like I don't have a nine to five job, it's very easy to get lost or not know where to start or just let your time just run away with itself and not really get things done. Adding structure is key. So getting up at the same time, starting the week in the same way, being like almost like clockwork, knowing where I'm gonna be. If you ask me where I'm gonna be at five minutes to 10 on a Monday, I can tell you exactly where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be driving to the coffee shop. And I think getting those little tasks out of the way, getting up early, getting to counseling, talking about my leg, getting like, you know, getting it all out of my head and out in the open and, and actually feeling a lot better about myself. These few little tasks, like getting up early, going to counseling, getting my coffee, spending some me time, they're like five little things or four little things that I, com I accomplish, I complete. Four little tasks that I complete before the week has even started, before the day's even started, before 10 o'clock. And that sets the bar, that sets the tone for the rest of the week of setting and accomplishing challenges. And the last reason is that it's therapeutic. Like, apart from the obvious reason of going to counselling being therapeutic, it's actually just quite nice. It's like taking a big sigh, like a, like a big, like, deep breath at the beginning of the week. And then I feel like I'm ready to, like, continue. And, like, I always feel like I'm holding my breath a bit throughout the week because I'm trying to get everything done. And then Monday, I feel like I've reset, which is great. Um, also, I find it really nice because going for that coffee is something that I do for me. I then give myself that 15 minutes of like allotted me time to go there, buy a coffee, take it away and just and have that. And for me, that's like the end of the ritual. It rounds the whole morning off and I'm ready to start the week. So that's basically why I do it. Sorry there was so much talking. Um, honestly, today's just been a bit of a blur. I, I, was actually speaking to my counsellor this morning and, and, and I was saying, you know, I feel a bit like lost after this whole TED thing. I don't think there's a gap that it's left in my brain. I don't know what to fill it with. And I think it's just because I was really exhausted. Like, I could finally have a bath without rehearsing my thing and sit down without needing to like constantly worry about my TED talk. And it's great. So I wanted to take a little bit of time today for myself and just chill. So I've been spending a bit of time with my mum. We've been chatting a little bit and, and hanging out. And so I do have training in like, in like an hour, so I need to go to that. Anyway, I'll see you there. Yeah, I'm sorry, my room is such a mess at the moment. It's like a bomb hit it, but I'm a creative soul. Don't know what that has to do with being messy, but mail time. Does it count as mail time if I ordered it? Let's not focus on the details of what is and isn't mail time. All you guys gotta know is that I've got mail. Exciting mail. Kit. Oh my god. We've got our new fencing kit for when we go to World Cups. So cool. More kit. Polo shirt. Tracksuit top to wear on the podium if I ever get there. Or generally just around the venue because then I'll get more use out of it. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me try one on. Uh, it's got, I quite like this, I'll be honest. And it's got little, it's got, it's got little thumb holes for my thumb. Big fan. Thanks, British Disability Fancy for the kit. That's pretty much the end of today's vlog. Got sparring with Gemma and Dim now, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Sorry it's been a talky one, but I hope you enjoyed it. Whoa!